So today we've had the first of our world marketplace events, so we're running two of those events as part of the Perfect Week plans. And um, today we've been generating ideas, so every group has a, a poster on the, the boards and we're hoping that there'll be some ideas there that people haven't thought about already. And then just before the Perfect Week starts, we're going to run a second world marketplace and each group will present to everybody else the two or three things that they're going to do during the Perfect Week and um, that will make a difference to their patients. As the last one was such a massive success and made such a real difference for our patients. So we went from having patients who were queuing in the emergency department and not able to get into trust beds um, to having no queues in the emergency department and people just moving through into the bed that they needed to be in really, really quickly, which is just fantastic. A much better experience for patients, a much safer experience for patients and just for what we want for our patients. As a community, we want to make sure that we work with UHCW to move people out of hospital and move people through as quick as possible not about having more beds, not about more capacity, making sure it's used properly and making sure that people aren't um, in a bed in a short-term home service longer than they need to be. So some of the things we'll be doing is making sure our social workers are available seven days a week, putting some of our staff alongside some community provision to remove those small blockages where they're identified as quickly as possible. We've recruited volunteers that work for us but have got different roles because we think they can add something. Right. We've got extra capacity in through using like people that don't normally get involved in health and social care operational yes. management. And we, you know, we've got all the normal stuff you'd expect like project plans, project teams, yeah. project, all of that. But essentially it's kind of a, a right team effort across the three, yeah. three community organisations to, to make sure we can make a real step change as a result of the perfect week. Yeah. During the perfect week, the ambulance service is going to put a car that's going to respond to certain calls. Uh, the car will be going out over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, responding primarily to falls at home and vulnerable adults who are at home that uh, might be at risk of being admitted to the ED department unnecessarily. The car will contain uh, an advanced nurse practitioner and an occupational therapist as well as the paramedic. So the, the vehicle will go to the patient, the paramedic will deal with the patient first and if there are other in interventions that are needed then he's got the direct access to the nurse and the occupational therapist to carry on the treatment at home. So the team's going to have access to other services that are in the community. This would be fast response teams, social care, community pharmacy, and have direct access to those via a phone. So again, preventing that admission to hospital and the unnecessary journey for the patient. Telecare is a system of technology and equipment which we provide to support people to increase their confidence, promote their independence, reduce care or stress, we provide um, equipment in a variety of places, home, um, care homes, housing with care establishments. For the perfect week, we always aim to prioritise the referrals from the hospital team to facilitate timely discharge and to try and ensure that equipment is in place ready for the person to go home. So we're creating the new service that volunteers will be offering a dedicated wheelchair service and patients will be able to come into the hospital, call up to the volunteers and ask to book a wheelchair to take them to an appointment. There will be lots that are visible to the public, so there'll be some out in the wheelchair bays around the hospital, there'll be some on some of the wards um, and departments and then some uh, being designated for the volunteer wheelchair service as well. We are Lloyd's Pharmacy outpatients and we cater for the outpatient clinics. What we do is patients bring their prescriptions to us. We clinically check them, assemble them, dispense them accurately and efficiently, give them out with some counselling to our patients. For the perfect week, we are hoping to inject more staff within outpatients and following the Lloyd's Pharmacy visions and values, which is eye care, we hope to still have an integrity in our service have an accountability for what we do and respect each and every one of our patients and also provide them with a fast, efficient, safe service and easier patient journey through the hospital. During Perfect Week, we will be providing an early lobotomy ward round. This ward round will be for specific wards that have expressed an interest in this early round, 
those samples will be brought to the specimen reception lab and prioritised. Those results will be available for clinical decision making on the wards and where possible aid the discharge of patients the same day. This is another opportunity for pathology to heighten its awareness of all our urgent samples in general. Well, for Perfect Week, we've been working as physiotherapists within ED to pilot a totally new scheme to see whether there's a role within ED for a physio to work, to see some of the soft tissue injuries that are coming in, or to look at some of the pathways for onward referral. Can we avoid referral into fracture clinics and use direct access to physiotherapy? There are rapid assessment clinics that maybe haven't in the past been utilised as well as they could be. Um, so we'd need to go back now and have a look at whether that's something we could open up access to for ED. So the perfect week, I think, is, uh, is giving us the springboard to uh, approach frailty differently within the acute. We've looked at a lot uh, of the pathways of how frail elderly flow through the acute and there's lots of examples of excellent work happening amongst the medical teams against uh, the social care teams, REACT and the voluntary sector, but all very much in silos. This week and this scheme with, with the Prime Minister's Challenge Fund gives us the opportunity to actually bring all of those bits together to create a more cohesive service um, which influences the patient journey. GPs are used to seeing lots of patients with very little investigation and little time. And so the idea of having a GP in A&E is to try to see those patients that came to A&E that maybe didn't need to be there, uh, to see them quickly, to make sure they get the appropriate treatment, but at the same time make sure they're not exposed to any unnecessary investigations and make sure they receive some education so that they know uh, where they should be going to access appropriate health services in the future. Uh, hopefully that will take some of the strain off of A&E, allowing them to do what they do best. It's all about the buzz that you create and the energy that you create in the organisation. And um, you know we've got lots of processes and things that people have to do to make things work. But what really made a difference and what we really learned was that if everybody pulls together um, and does a little bit, then it has a massive impact across the organisation. So it really is all about people getting involved, um, owning the problem, uh, creating a buzz in their own area, doing just one or two little things that really make a difference. And when you add all those things together, it makes a massive difference for our patients.